serious is that pain? That's our first topic today. And how many times have you asked yourself, eh, is it just a stomach ache or something worse? About five or six months ago, I began to notice that my stomach was changing and that I was starting to have a lot of gas. I was bloated all the time and my stool consistency had changed. Also, I was slightly nauseous all the time. I'd wake up at night. I went and saw my doctor and he did a lot of basic tests. After four or five months of continuing symptoms, he's suggested that I get an endoscopy procedure. So one of the things that I suspected that it is that he might have this bacteria called H. pylori. So I've done three tests to try to prove it, and they've been inconclusive. So today, I'm going to do an endoscopy, go into his stomach, and see exactly what's going on. I'm about to insert a flexible endoscope into Ed's mouth. This is then going to go over the tongue and right into his esophagus. So we're going down, and notice that he has a big area in the esophagus. It looks like esophagitis, what might be a Barrett's stomach. Now we're in the stomach, right here. You can tell right off the bat, look how he has blood in the stomach. There's a small stomach ulcer right there. See those right there? A bleeding little ulcer. It looks like a red dot. Three more red dots, little tiny ulcers. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to get a sample, close. We're going to open. We're going to take a sample, close, and the endoscopy is now finished. I'm going to take samples of Ed's stomach and we're going to put that in this jelly. If there's bacteria, this jelly is going to react with the bacteria's proteins and it's going to turn a blue color within 24 to 48 hours. Let's see if this is being caused by that bacteria H. pylori. 